Hey, welcome back to the paper zone. The last time I stopped, like halfway through chapter one, because you know you had the whole prologue to do, but there's oh, there's more, there's more of it. Let's go. And now Goombella's on the title screen. Isn't that just delightful? My eye is a little fuzzy. I think I got like, eh, uh, eh. My glasses ain't smudged, is it? Yeah, tell says who I, who I had, who was in there. It was Goombella, cause that's all we got. Anyway, we were we were leaving this place. Bye bye. No more schwonking for me. Oh, hello. Sounds like you got an email, Mario. Okay. You should check it out. Press p plus to open up your email. Yeah, I know. I was about to do that. You can also check your email under the mailbox SP in the menu if you want. Some folks just like menus, you know. Hello Mario! Working hard? Professor Frankly here in e-form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one while you're on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankel. Okay, cool. Mario... Mario get iPad. That was in the original game, so it's not- it's not like Mario get iPad. Hang on, actually... Does it... Where does it show- where does it show that? Oh, the mailbox SP. I don't know- I don't know if it showed when Mario took it out, but it, it looks like a Game Boy Advance SP. We're gonna- we're gonna leave this place. Got it. Gotta walk back. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I mean, I could fight him, I guess, but you know, we gotta make up for some time. Backtracking zero out of ten game. Yeah, people always made a big stink out of that. I never thought it was that bad. RDM registration finally. Okay, it doesn't show. It doesn't show the item in the original game. I think it showed the item. Like Mario took it out. Dear Mr. Mario, thank you for registering with the Rogueport Direct Mail Service. I did no such thing. Okay, uh, frankly, referred you to us. Provide you with regular timely news updates. Okay. Yeah, okay, sure. You defeated the fable, fabled stone. Why am I doing this voice? You defeated the fabled stone monsters of Schwank. Whoa, well done. But wait, hold on now. That means I have no more job, doesn't it? Well, what do you suppose I should do now, huh? What a pickle. This man is out of a job. Looks like you're out of a job. Yep, and here's one of these panels I can't actually get. I'm sorry, Goombella, but you're right next to me all the time. No, yeah, I know. I didn't mean to press. I didn't mean to press the shoulder button. What? No way! Really? You defeated the monsters in that fortress? Wow! You must be tougher than you look, Mister. I underestimated you. Wonder if there's somewhere you sign up to see her. Oh. Oh, if only you knew. <laughs> Inattentive. I don't know why, but Coops has been acting odd lately. What could be bothering him? Hey, Zeal. Probably nothing. He's always tweaked about something. Ooh. 
Goombella just does not hold back, huh? Yeah, she she's a sassy little one. I mean, Goombario had a had a mean streak every now and then, but she she's she lets you know how she feels. Well done there, Murphy. Found the sun and the moonstone, have you? Excellent work. Next, you'll need to find the secret pipe that leads to Hooktail's castle. So shake a leg, Murphy. Go show that Hooktail creature who's boss. If only this Hooktail were gone, I'm sure everyone's hearts would shine again. I am just a simple soul, but I remain sure that this is the key to restoring happiness here. It seems you're pretty happy with the remake. Yeah, it seems pretty good so far. Looks about as, you know, it's about as good as I expected it to be, which is pretty good. Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? No, 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 no. Not, no, no, I already, no, we already read this one. Sometimes they get new dialogue. Oh, I've been playing a lot of Nintendo 64 games recently. Is that is that new dialogue? I don't remember him talking about N64. You know the N64, right? Well, the game I play most on it is Paper Mario. There's this girl in the game, Bo, who's pretty much the cutest boo of all time. <laughs> this was in the original? Oh, okay. I didn't remember. Also, listen, I have to make a confession. I have to make a confession. No, he doesn't talk about Wario Land 4. He brings up Fire Emblem. Because, see, that is like another game series that the developers of this game, Intelligent Systems, work on. When this game originally came out, the Fire Emblem was a very niche series that no one in America had ever heard of. Good luck being digested and all- ew. Additionally, he mentions playing the Game Boy Advance, which is a console created by Nintendo and released in the early 2000s. This reference was not updated for the 2024 remake of the game. In spite of the fact that the GBA is no longer contemporary. It could have been replaced with something along the lines of the Nintendo 3DS or the Nintendo Switch. However, ironically, the Nintendo 3DS is arguably less relevant now than the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. Because the Nintendo Game Boy Advance is offered as part of the Nintendo Switch Online service. Plus expansion pack. Um, excuse me? It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, am. Um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hopes of getting to speak with you. Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail. Uh, please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to fight Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. Yeah, Coop's theme's pretty good. Do 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 boo boo I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby. A weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario? Okay. For real? No kidding? Yes! Thank you so much! You won't regret this. Yeah, so... Yeah, this might- this might be a little familiar. Oh, 
Ah, the invisible wall. The wall of psychic energy. Yep, I got it. But yeah, they, like I said, there's a lot of little extra touches in this that they did not need to do, but I appreciate that they did anyway. Like all, like the characters have so many new poses that weren't in the original game. Like for instance, Mario originally, like when he talked to someone, he raised his hand, you know, which I'm not going to do for obvious reasons, but it looked like, uh, Sig Heil. <laughs> So, they changed it, but they actually changed it to three different things instead of just one. You know, based on context. Okay. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops. Oh, and she has her own version of it, too. Oh, but it's like the Petalberg theme, yeah. Oh, golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it. Coops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher for you. No, Coops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, I've made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling with Mario and... Fine, ignore me! Stubborn Koopa! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I'll come back to you as a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh, yeah. But yeah, like, they gave him a theme, but they also gave her a theme. And it's just it's just way more effort than they had to go to, but I I like I said, I do appreciate that they did. I didn't press I didn't press plus in time. Useful buttons. You like plus, for instance. Hello, Mario. Still working hard? Professor Frankly here, in e-form. Again! I do have more to say, as it turns out. Goombella was eager to join your side, and she won't be the last. I'm sure you're going to gain a bunch of additional partners as you explore through the world and progress through your harrowing adventure. If you do, there's a quick way to swap which partner's walking align alongside you. Just hold down L to access a doodad called the Partner Ring. Say you find yourself stuck in a rut, unable to progress, aimless and panic-stricken. First, calm down. <laughs> then, swap pals with the partner ring. Explore a bit more and see if anything clicks into place in that noble noggin of yours. One other thing. I'm betting you usually pop into the menu by pressing minus or plus, but did you know you can open it to specific tabs by pressing the, the D-pad button thing, whatever? Convenient, right? Keep that in mind to save yourself some precious time. Stay safe and good luck out there. I mean, it's the it's the Joy-Con, it's like the Joy-Con buttons, but like on, on the Pro Controller, it's just a D-pad. And on this one, which isn't, isn't technically a Pro Controller, it's the, the Ghoulie Kit thing. Ghoulie Kit. You know what, let's get him in a battle. But now... Now we can attack the spiked man without hammer. Oh crap, I messed it up. But at least he's stylish. At least I'm suave. Oh, he got knocked. He got backified. God, I love this song so much. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah! Oh! He touched my toe. He touched me toe. That's it.
You're getting styled upon. At least it didn't think you chumped on him. True. Very true indeed. And that's it. I'm getting me mallet. Yeah, okay, so I can get this now. The happy heart. That means I've gone a month without getting warned. And I have enough to put that on, yes. Ooh. Hello, integer. Ooh. Oh, no, no. Oh, that one's got the mayonnaise. Like I said, I don't need to be doing the stylish tricks. There's really no particular reason for me to do that, but it's just, but it's so much fun, Jan. Get some coins. We do need money. We've got to have money. When I was a kid playing this game, I had no idea stylish moves were a thing. But I mean, I still made it through most of the game. Oh no! The rocks have moved! Oh, and the secret runes have appeared. Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle. Weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum. This challenge is easiest peasieth if you use if ye use the skill of a Petalberg Koopa. So I'm gonna give you a fun fact about me. Despite the fact that I love this game to pieces. I have never beaten it without cheating. <laughs> I played it as a kid, uh, but once I got to the final boss, I cheated. <laughs> I cheated because I was a dirty cheater back then. I also did the same thing with Ocarina of Time, except way worse. <laughs> How'd you cheat? Uh, with an action replay. I think I played it two times as a kid. Uh, the second time I made it to the final boss, but I cheated to win. <laughs> but I ain't gonna do that. Mostly because I don't I don't know how to cheat on the Switch. I probably need a soft modded system, but... But also because of the principle of the thing. God, the lighting is so nice. We... Do I need... Do I need a heal? Oh, hey, Goomba. I really wish I could tattle, like, NPCs like that. Do I need a heal? Yeah, you know what, sure. It's not too expensive. So, that's a neat new feature, though. I think somebody said that it's not actually that much faster than going to the menu. Yep. Very, very to the point. Hooktail Castle. Alright, donkey, don't look down. So, Hooktail Castle, huh? Well, it sure is ominous, that's for sure. I love the ambience they put when you stand on this thing. There's a, there's a sense of gravitas that this really does not deserve. Looks like the bridge has been out for a while. Even so, this castle just seems so majestic, you know? So big and strange. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go. Okay. Oh, it's a Scootle. Mr. Skeletal. 
This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? Okay, we'll switch to Cooper. Oh, Para Cooper. Come on, come on. Goombas have bones? Uh, apparently. Oh, new battle theme. And I've said before, this absolutely was not a thing in the original. So they, they did get, like, some of the stuff that was actually really cool about Origami King. And they were like, what if we applied that to a game that Dustin actually likes? And I love it. The Mario theme in minor key. Specifically you in that developer room. Name dropped and all. <laughs> yep, and they were like... They were like, maybe, maybe this guy will finally shut up. Yes! Big no! Yep. Oh, oh, this part's good. Yeah, the part right before the loop. I should really be trying super guards more often, like, get good at them. I also did not use super guards when I originally played this game. Let's just say the advanced mechanics were... were completely foreign to me. I was not... I was not a super player. Oh, this is where you go if you want to go back. Oh, no you don't. No you don't. Okay, have I tattled Paracoop? Dang it, I keep forgetting to try the super guard. Super, super guard. I have not, so uh, let me get Goom Goombello. Get her in here. Tell me about the flying coop. That's a Koopa Paratroopa. Well, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him, and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's ours. Stomp again to flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. <laughs> yes! Okay. Goombilla really wishes she could fly. I mean, I can't say I blame her. I get it. Oh man, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't even use any FP, but okay. I mean, it sure does get the crowd pumped. Ooh, a happy heart P badge. I don't think I have enough BP to put that on, though. Uh, let's see. Nope. Don't, don't got it. And then there's a badge right here. The Power Bounce. That? Ooh, that's three, though. Uh, hmm. 
Uh, I might wait till I level up to use that one. Okay, I don't want that guy using the POW if at all possible. Let's do the multi-bounce. Oh, nope, didn't do it that time. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of these animations do kind of take a while, though, I will admit. Then maybe could have sped that up a little bit. Oh, yeah. The gaming has commenced, brothers. The gaming has started. The gaming has farted even. I don't even know what that means. I just kind of said it. Ooh, fire flower. Yep, there's a lot of bones. A lot of bones in here. Oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what is this? My father's clutching some kind of letter. Or at least his, uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah. Um, okay, I can do this. I- I'll read it. Him. <laughs> I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end with Rog. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must find whatever that thing is. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist veils my eyes. My last two words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. And yep, uh, referencing a character from Paper Mario 64, so that's... That's pretty cool. Blah, <laughs> You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no farther, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Non-standard dry bones. Ouch, what are they doing? It's no use, they're all over me, man. What, sh what should we do? I have a big hammer. Okay, but I got a tattle. Kupario, get- I, I need to switch to tattle. That's a dull bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa once. These creeps throw bones to attack, and all- oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. Oh. Oh. Boner. Boner. Yes. 
I like that partners get their own banjo kazooie speak now. Oh yeah, I love that. Okay, that didn't work. No, I, I need to tattle the red guy. That's a red bones. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to zero HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once his friends start to fall, it may create some more. Okay. So I think I want to switch to... Oh. Ow. 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 <laughs> this is not going well. Yep, okay. Okay, now... First thing I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this. You know, it'd be nice if Mario could get some health out of this. Ow. Okay, Mario's getting no heals. You get no heals! Okay, well, at least the Goomba is healed. Okay, now I need to switch her out for Koopa Man. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. I need to use an item. That did not heal me as much as I would have liked. Oh crap! I pushed too late. The crowd is entirely dead people. Does a uh, fire flower work on these guys? They seem fire resistant. No, they're not. They are very much not. Goombella literally just said, I forgot, okay? I absorbed none of that. Badge. Yeah, I should- I should probably be making sure I actually absorb these tattle logs instead of just reading them out like- oh, oh, Shine, Sprite! First shine I see tonight! Wait, wait, no- wait. Let me see. Let me see. She doesn't say that fire specifically will work. <laughs> oh, about the red bones. Okay. I understand. Ever wonder what the shine sprites are doing out of Isle Delfino? Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. We gotta have that cross-game synergy. That's not what I intended to do. Oh, 
Well, I apologize for not read so good. Peach got back from Isle Delfino and said, I like these funky sun things. Put them everywhere. <laughs> okay, but we got more badge room. Uh, I think I would like the power bounce. Sorry, partner. Traps and dangers. Traps and dangers, baby. See, this is a puzzle. Oh, but you can't do that puzzle. You got to do the puzzle this way. And then, and only then, can you do that. And then you move the staircase. <laughs> Get me the key, brother. Now we gotta move it back. <laughs> there it goes. And we gotta do a lot of jump. This is a really good, uh, a really good cover of the song. Okay. The grand staircase. Grand! Who you think who you think built it? I don't know. I don't you know, I don't think Hooktail herself built it. I don't think that's plausible. Oh. Hey, hey. Maybe she just like plonked down the bricks like little Lego blocks. Oh, also, yeah, I confirmed. I confirmed since the last time. In the original game, Hooktail is referred to with masculine pronouns for most of this chapter. But they changed it to just be referring to her as female to begin with. I guess like Zero Kirby said, they just thought, who cares? Who actually cares? It's like, it's not like, you know, oh, Darth Vader's Luke's father. It's like, oh, the dragon is a girl. We don't care. Well, okay, this is a bad time for Cooper. This is a bad time for Cooper. Yeah, nobody cares that Samus is a girl anymore. We got a girl! We got a girl over here! Nobody cares. I wonder if it was like that originally in the Japanese text. Because there are some things that were, were changed. It was? Okay. So that was a twist. <laughs> that was exclusively a twist for Americans. Or at least English speakers. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't throw no crud at me. Don't throw no crud at me, brother. I will end you. I will end you and everything that you hold dear. I don't know how many other lo how other. I don't know how any other localizations handled it. It reminds me, there is a character later in the game that, for some reason, refers to Super Smash Bros. Melee, but only in the Spanish version of the game. And for some reason, it was changed to just Smash Bros. in this one. Which is weird, because, you know, they kept the Game Boy Advance SP, all that 
all that stuff. I don't know. Maybe they just... Maybe... <laughs> maybe the Spanish speakers just didn't get the memo. Oh. oh. Okay, you know, this is... This is one of them puzzles again. When <laughs> Nintendo spent so much time shutting down melee tournaments. Yeah, see, you hold him here. And then you go over here. And then bada boing, bada bada bung, bada bungle. Oh, dang. Hey, guests, it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me? Wow! Wait a sec, if you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks. I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here for so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open this box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait in a box and curse folks. A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, little I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Except in reverse order. Tell the president that I'm prepared to scratch his bush if he scratches mine. Of course, you don't have to... You don't have to if you really don't want to. Finding a key like this is hard. I keep switching to Goombella because I want to hear what she says. Can't believe they trapped Carlton in a box. A box in the garage. What a totally weird room. There's just got to be something hidden here. Then again, every room in this castle is totally weird. And here's here's a little thing that we can't do anything with right now. I got a black key. Oh, oh no! It was a booby trip. Mario, look at that. Oh, oh this isn't good. Hurry, run for it. Potato Man! Prop the ceiling up if we're done for! Okay, hang on. Hang on, we're good. We're good. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. But how about I just stand here for a little bit, you know, just to... Just to let the tension really set, just settle in, you know? Okay, that's enough. <laughs> hey there! Boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fools! Why, only the most idiotic, pudding brain don't would fall for a scheme like that! The castle's traps prevent anyone for who's entered it from leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse! No charge. Oogly Boogly Boo! Or it's Oogly Googly Boo. You know, you know, one of them, one of them. <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus, and it serves you right. This curse is more cursely curse-worthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold with ZR. <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? No one! Now I shall show you just how frightful a curse it is. Press and hold ZR now. <laughs> Just look at yourself. How embarrassing like you. How embarrassing for you. I don't know why I said that. I can't speak. I don't know English. You'll be all papery thin while you press ZR. You'll try to jump or move and you'll probably just wobble there. 
Do you understand what this curse means for you? Then farewell, you dumbbells. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you can just wedge yourself right in there. Wow. Change the sound effects of Mario's attacks to sound froggy. Hmm, where did we hear something about that before? Star, star piece, star piss. I want, I want it. I want it. The next curse box just sound like Zorak. I don't, I don't know if I can really do a Zorak impression. I can always try, but y you know. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we have the means to get that at the moment. Hey, Moltar. What? What is it? I'm made of paper. Uh, cool, I guess. Okay, now I forget what I'm supposed to do with this. I have this pa- Oh, wait, 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 wait. No way, I'm a smart boy. I remember. I'm a smart boy. I'm a big smart man. Got the, the brain. <laughs> Every time I move my arm, it costs Nintendo 42 bucks. <laughs> okay, here's what, you, here's what you gotta do, I think. Here's what you gotta do, right? Or at least, may maybe, I thought, I thought this is what you had to do. I thought you maybe had to go through the, yeah, like that. But it doesn't seem like that helps. Maybe I can crush myself under the block. Oh, nope. Anti-crushing technology. Very expensive. Yeah, I forget. I forget what I do now, but don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh yeah, let's see. There, there it is. There it is. See this one. This one has not the horizontal bars on it, so you can like wedge yourself in there real good. All right, so here's here's another piece of evidence. Don't don't groan, don't groan. This is another piece of evidence that the characters are not supposed to be fully aware that they are paper, because see Mario, <laughs> Mario needs a curse to think that he is able to do this. <laughs> that this never occurred to him, or even is possible before the curse. I'm just saying. Mario is supposed to be... Mario is supposed to be blissfully unaware of his wood pulp status. It is- it is a fact that man was not meant to- not meant to know. You know what's weird? I am technically older than Mario now. I don't like that. Oh, no, I don't- I, I didn't mean to press that one. How do I- how do I get my- okay, there we go. No, I'm good. T 
<laughs> just just tear across the screen. We gotta have it appear somehow. Mario has a can canon age. Yeah, I believe Miyamoto said he's about 25. Which means that me being 26 and then soon 27, I am technically older than Mario. And also, this year I'm going to be the same age as, uh, who was it? There was, there was somebody that I was telling my friend Isaac that I was going to be as old as, who was it? Let me see. Hang on, I can find it. Ah, Gordon Freeman. This year, I will be as old as Gordon Freeman. Who is 27. Also, we go, go out the window. Oh, look at that, look at that, like, light effect there. Jump out the window. Gordon Freeman is 27, yep. Apparently, let me... Maybe I can get a picture to show it to you. Like on the, on the Half-Life wiki. Hang on, I got it. I always thought of Mario as being in his 30s. Apparently not. Apparently Super Mario is canonically like about 25. I mean, he was a little wishy-washy on it. He was like, eh, you know, around there. But yeah, oh, oh, it's big. The image is big. But yeah, see? So right there. Apparently, in somewhere it says in Half-Life 1, he is 27. Though, in Half-Life 2, he, he may be older than that. So I'm, I'm, as, oh, I'm going to be as old as Gordon Freeman in Half-Life 1. Let's put it that, let's put it that way. People care about that, I assure you. This is a fact that will affect your everyday life. It will not be the same after this. Yeah, and like I said, like I said, each battle theme has its own victory. It has its own victory theme. Oh, I'm, I'm out of room for items. Wait, hang on. I, actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just use this. I'm a little low. Choose who to use it on. Wait, hold on. Goombella, what do you have to say about this room, specifically? I can't- <laughs> every time I walk into a new room, I'm like, Goombella! I walk into the bathroom at McDonald's, Goombella! <laughs> and she's like, dude, I don't know, it's the McDonald's bathroom, just shut up. <laughs> this place is fucking nasty, Mario. <laughs> And then Mario walks behind the toilet. You found a used condom! Oh, life shroom. You know what, we'll get rid of one regular mushroom. I- I don't need to use it. Oh! I know we gotta go this way, because that way needs a key. Oh! Huh? Oh my, who's this handsome piece of cheese? I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey, hey, who are you? Me? Why, I'm Miss Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle, that's why I'm here. But the real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Um, well you see, we're here to beat Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. 
So don't think we'll let you get the crystal star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal star, you say? Mm-mm-mm. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in the castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Darn. Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for the crystal star first. I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your crystal star. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? God, she just kissed Mario's penis. Mm-mm-mm-mm. It means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met, and already it's time to say farewell. Alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that'll be help you best hook tail, or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight Hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, handsome mustache man. Let's get her again. Let's get together again real soon. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one, full of romance. Oh, another shine sprite. Okay, what's in here? Honey. But I'm carrying too much crap! Goombella no longer calls Mrs. Miles a floozy. Uh, game is unplayable. Completely unplayable. I mean, I don't need to trade a mushroom for a mushroom. But, uh, let's- let's see what Goombella has to say. What do you guys say? This is Hooktail's treasure room. Mrs. Mouse was looking for something here, but I don't think there's anything left. Yeah, in the original English script, she says, Mrs. Mouse was here, but I think she took the last train to Floozyville. <laughs> so she was originally even ruder. A good remake would have an extra chapter where you can go to Floozyville. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Now, I do know that there are... I, I think they said there are two new boss fights in this game. And I, I know what one of them is, but the other one I don't. <laughs> so we'll see about that. Why do I keep jumping on them? I need to use the hammer. Yeah, see, that don't do nothing. That ain't- that don't do nothing. You know what that does? Nothing. Yes! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Also, yeah, like I was saying last stream, this game keeps track of what enemies you've tattled. Unlike Paper Mario 64. I mean, well, like I said, it keeps track, but it doesn't give you a list, you know? But, since this is a good game, I don't think any of the tattles are permanently missable. Like, I think any tattles that you can only get one time will appear later in Professor Frankly's garbage can. So yes, this is a good game. It avoids the thing that I hate. Yeah. 
Man, I need I need more foop. Can I get more foop? Oh, okay. Oh, nope. No cerebob. Oh, oh, I pressed the button, but it was too late. Oh. Oh, but that I get electrified, which is actually a good thing. You would think, you would think that Mario being electrified would not be a good thing, like it would be very dangerous to his health. But no, it's actually quite good. Yes! Free! Free refills. Hey, that didn't do any damage. That hasn't done any damage at all, what the heck. They've added new tattles for rematches against bosses you fight twice. Well, thanks for informing me. Oh, no. Cooper killed this man. Well, I mean, not he's not Cooper, like literally. You know, that was in the last game. Which they didn't do in the original, which spoiled the thing. Oh. I mean, I know most of what happens in this game, but I'm refraining from <laughs> being too, like, wink-wink, nudge-nudge, because, you know, there's some people who haven't played it. So you will, you will see what happens. Many things happen in this game. Like, that, that's something you can say. You can put that on the back of the box. Many things happen. You feel me? Mario jumps. Lord crumps. And so on and so forth. Coops falls off the balcony. There's a star piece over here. Were star pieces always in this game? Because I know they unlock something new in this. But I don't remember if they were an item you could collect in the, in the original. They were, okay. Oh, the grand staircase. We're back. And this time, we want more. I'm scared to go down here, to be honest with you, but I want to get this badge. The last stand P. You know, I, I stand when I pee, but this is the last time I'm going to do it. Uh, does this, does this refill my foop? I don't know. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, backtrack pipe. I think that's new. I think originally you had to go up the castle again. But they added new pipe. They added a couple new pipes to make the game slightly less annoying. Okay. Gumbella, what do you gotta say about this bridge? Mario, take a look at this. It's like you could reach out and touch the sky, huh? Looking out from the heights makes my head go Goomby. I mean Goonie. Well, Goonies never die. I know that much. 
Yeah, that, that's just, that's not even a joke. That's just like a reference. <laughs> just word association. That's what you come to the stream for. Word association humor. <laughs> Family guy joke. Oh my god. This is worse than the time Hooktail ate my father. Uh-oh. Well, that's... that's not good. That is. And that is also. So I've heard people say that that might actually be like an autism thing. Like when you're autistic, you just kind of do that. <laughs> But either way, I do it. Yeah, the word association thing. Sorry, sometimes I add new thoughts onto old thoughts. <laughs> but it's like eight hours later and nobody remembers what I was talking about. They're like, D Dustin, that, that conversation was literally an hour ago. Yes, I know. I, <laughs> I keep pressing the button. Oh, wait, I want that coin. Give me the coin. Thank you. Now, especially in DMs, like I will, <laughs> on like Discord DMs, I will absolutely just add on to something we stopped talking about hours or days ago. But sometimes, sometimes I have a new thought, okay? Oh, that didn't work. Oh, Goombella's in danger. You know, because she's panting. DMs are more forgivable since there's a written record. True. I mean, there's technically a record of this, but it's harder to go back to. And not just because it's cringe. Nope, messed it up. Oh yeah, Luigi's in the crowd. Hey, bro. Is that rare? It's a little rare. Basically, they say Luigi... Luigi gives better items, or s throws better items sometimes. Oh, see you, Zeal. Yes, kill! Luigi's here to support us. Like a good brother. Okay, going up. Going up. Spin! Spin. Spin to win. See the see the castle go around. And there's another Goomba, you know, just in case. Oh no. Oh no, there's 40 guys here. Are those dark clouds new? I don't recall. I think so. Don't use the power block. Oh, I used the power block. He did it. And when I asked him not to, see what that see what you did? See what you did. You know you realize how long that took to paint? How many man hours went into that? Or, you know, toad hours. Toads could be men. Are we not men? We are toads.
There, there's a pun in there with like devote or something. Okie dokie. Give me a heal real quick. I'll heal before the boss. I think that's worth it. And now go ahead and get Grimbella out because you know I'm gonna want to tattle the boss. Oh, by the way, the boss is in here. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if you could tell. You might have had an inkling. Who dares approach me? Hmm, I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and gobble you down head first. Um, excuse me, what was that about the feet? <laughs> I like that they raised the ceiling. Snack time, little appetizers. But which one of you marshals should I taste first? Oh, yeah, Luigi's back. Okay, you, that's not working up there. Also, I meant to attack. I mean, I meant to tattle. Also, ow. <laughs> also, yeah, I didn't put the badge on. I'm gonna try doing it without. If, it, if I can't do it, then we'll, we'll try again with the badge. I mean, I, I, I kind of just forgot to ask you guys what you wanted me to do. But I guess we're doing the challenge run first. That's Hooktail. Max HP is 20, attack is 5, and defense is 1. She'll stomp and munch on you, and she has a dragonish attack. Stinky, fiery breath. She's tricky, especially when she's losing, and she'll try to fool you into being merciful. Oh yeah, and one more thing. She hates things that start with F and end with Rog. Supposedly, there's something related to that somewhere in the castle. Did we find it? Nope. Uh, ow. Yeah, that does a ton of damage. Ow. Oh, but we have we have the damage meter now. You know, what, let's uh let's do sweet treat because we you know we have it. Also, I like that it sends out the all the crystal stars, even though we clearly only have the one. <laughs> Break out your, your favorite Crazy Frog album. Alright, let's do this thing. Okay, so now that we've tattled... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I actually want to swap her out because that would take up my turn. Okay, yeah, I want to swap her out. Ow. Sorry, Goombina. Ow! I keep- I, I don't press the button in time. Okay, uh... Actually, I could use this. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, big no. Ow.
Okay, guarded. Guarded it successfully. Hmm. Hmm. If I if I could get some more, you know, some more juice, that would be lovely. Yo, bro. You want to throw you want to throw me? You want to throw me something? All right, all right. But we got we got more sweet treat. So we're going to use that. I, I always hit that. Always hit that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, could be better, but overall, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna use Koops to heal Mario in a second. Or should I do the final blow? Hmm. I'm a little worried, so I'm, I'm gonna play it safe. Ah, okay. Maybe I... Maybe I should've deed it. But wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore, I promise. I'm, in fact, I'm sorry for everything. Er, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 10,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins? Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind, and it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Keep it. Er, uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by let you, letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. So, care to take a whiff of the rich yet delicate scent of my world-renowned feet? One time off, or... Ew. <laughs> hmm, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone you know. Er, uh, I guess I'd better... Yep, just... Just eats the crowd. <laughs> That's just not right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. ah, now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this gal off fast, Mario. Yeah. Oh, and then we're... And then we hop off the stage. How about that, hmm? Hmm, I think I should heal Coop. Luigi was this close to getting munched. Oh! I mean, I do have a life shroom. If, if push comes to shove, I do have a life shroom. Can Luigi get munched? I don't know. It might be scripted to where he can't. Yes! That is just what I needed. Just what I needed! Oh yeah, you, you in for it now. 
See, I can eat the crowd, too. Except for me, it's not so much eating the crowd as it is winning at bingo, which is, you know, basically the same thing. I don't know when the timing for that is. Ow! I pressed A at the wrong moment. Oh, that's good, too. That's good. Thank you for that. Oh, that finale. <laughs> that, that was like the coolest thing ever. But, but, I, I, Gurk, Gorp. How, why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. Oh, I guess Hooktail's just freaking dead. Just freaking dead. Badge! Badge! I'm badging up, baby. Wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. Now all you have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! I'm out! I'm finally out! Whoa, it... it can't be! Hey! D dad Well, if it isn't Coops. Hey, son. you gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all is well and good. But just before my finishing blow, she used the smell from her feet to stun me, then gobbled me down whole. This is, this is a new line, by the way. <laughs> they took out one line regarding her feet and put in another. So, equivalent exchange, I suppose. I've been hiding in my shell for the 10 years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, it was a nasty, yuck. I'm so glad to finally get out. <laughs> you know, you're... You're all uh, you're you're very chipper for a man who has spent the last decade inside of a stomach. But <laughs> you know what? You know if you don't need therapy, then whatever, man. You live your life. Honestly, Dad, everyone's been so worried about you this whole time. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you all doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. We came here to defeat Hooktail. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? <laughs> Was he surviving on Hooktail's lunch? Is he a cannibal? Leaving a whole lot of questions that don't need to be answered. What's that? I found it there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I was going to keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the thing you've been looking for, you can have it. Come now. I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend, right? Please take it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Earth Tremor. Using the magical map they received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends claim their first crystal star. With the deadly dragon hooktail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Koops even reunited with his long lost father, whom he thought was dead. Oh, they just say dead right there. And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? 
the jingle for getting a crystal star doesn't hit quite like it did in the original. Yeah, I agree. The, <laughs> the, in the original game, getting a crystal star is like, you have become God. <laughs> Yes, it seems Mario advent Mario's adventure has only just begun. And did you like the intermissions in Paper Mario 64? Well... <laughs> I love the x not salute, the... the <laughs> that's, that's so good. Oh, great exalted Grotus! We brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Oh, wait, sorry. I have a better idea for him. Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust her. Trust me. It's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We Exonauts are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Grotus, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And they defeated that hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more, too. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Excuse me, Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> I see. So you know of this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That I promise. I grow bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men, take good care of Princess Peach, understand? She is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. Well, Lord Crump, if this Mario character has the map, then it's highly likely he'll show up where the next crystal star... Well, he'll show up where we're hunting for a crystal star. The Bogley Woods. You must return there immediately and hasten the search. It must not fail. What's that? Oh yeah, sure! Roger Grotus. And with that, pal, I'm gone. I wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He's a bit... out there. Hmm. Exnot, I summon you! You rang, dude? I mean, sir? You rang, sir? Grotus, dude? Grotus? Sir Grotus, sir? Shut up. Go get the three shadows over here. Three sh shadows, sir? But they... I don't care how you plan to enter in that sentence, fool. Go get them, now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us? Then we will arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Worry not. All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? Indeed, that is your duty. 
My, must I remind you? That map is vital to the Exonaut plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sire. I, Beldum, shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, come. We've got a job to do. Go. <laughs> oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick. Again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I, anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. The lockers. The bedside glue. The bed. It's softer than I expected. At least I'll be sleeping comfortably. I don't know, I've, st I've stayed in worse places than this. Uh, welcome back, Zeal. Looks fresh freshly scrubbed and sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. Yeah, I mean, this place is spotless, say what you will. Oh, reflect in the mirror. Wow, someone did a thorough job cleaning this. Maybe this place would pass the white glove test. What a lovely shower, no scum, soap scum even. Wow, I wonder if it works. Oh, baby, it's getting... <laughs> ah, hee hee. Oh, hey, she's got the hair. You got the hair. And the blush. And it's got the Mario 64 motif in there. Which is not that uncommon, but I like it. It's good every time they do it, okay? Hmm, it's not opening. Oh. Um, what was that? Hey, how odd. The doors open by themselves. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Yeah, they just, they want, they put like a million reflections in this game. They wanted to flex that they had, that they had reflections. Honestly, that, listen, I'm going to be real with you. That might be where the, the 30 other frames went. <laughs> that might be why, that might be why, where they went. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir God has created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in its reason. Grotus? Wait, he's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you lead me in here? An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs. And their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedent. 
cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really, because... It's just too weird. Please tell me, please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe... Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend love? Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh, why should I believe you? I understand that you are angry. The emotion I comprehend. You need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why, if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner, the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give this a shot. Tech, can you let me shitpost on Twitter? Actually, Princess Peach, it is referred to now as X. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. Uh... Okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. <laughs> Princess Peach, there's still time to delete this tweet. Also, if you like the intermissions, guess what? There's two of them! <laughs> there's another man on the horizon. <laughs> Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Tammy, you crushed the old hag. Why did you summon me? Uh, 
Um, Great Lord Bowser, the crusty hag Cami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Please, your ghastliness, I have to ask you to wait at the rear of the room. So the other day I saw Lord Bowser gazing longingly at a photo of Princess Peach. Uh, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Ooh, I tell you, the look on his face when he was mooning over that thing. Huh? Yak! Uh, look, Lord Bowser! Well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do share! Lord Bowser, I have been training day and night to help you conquer the world. Should the time come, I shall be ready. Order me as you please, your surliness. Uh, super. In that case, I'll order you to do some sit-ups. And don't stop until even your hammer has abs. And I can do this. Also, uh, there's a reference to, like, his theme in, I think, Origami King in this. But I don't know what that sounds like, so... I wouldn't know. Lord Bowser, please, if it's not too much trouble, head to the rear of the hall. Hail, hey, Lord Bowser. Also, I apologize in advance. Bedlam and Cammy Koopa are going to have the same voice. Ah, Lord Bowser. I can do a witch voice. I <laughs> just... now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. <laughs> they put a lot of Origami King references in this game aimed at people who didn't play Origami King. <laughs> I bet you are, Kami Koopa. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that good guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. <laughs> the mustache on Bowser's portrait, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Treasure. Yes, Mario has gone in search of the star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Hmm, yes, very good. Continue researching for this meat. Continue researching this for me, you brainy old hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Uh, what, what do you think? Does Bowser like fried eggs? Probably. Okay. Of course. Okay, yeah. You bet. Do I? I love fried eggs. Love them. But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking the, everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out any invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Longhead! A picnic? Get serious! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans, plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off! Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. Hmm? What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some bold fool abducted Princess Peach in Roadport. What? Tell me your line, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that much information yet. The, inf the, the investigation's ongoing. 
One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to Rogueport now. I'm going to kidnap her back. Bowser, there was a door, you know. But your grunginess! Wait up! <laughs> oh, that's just wonderful. Coops, my lad! Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops, and I am your father. Koops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. Or may I just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Koops. Don't you ever forget that. This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rogueport. Remember, Mario? Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and point towards the next in line. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the Thousand Year Door... So that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on that magic map? Exactly! Come on, let's go! Cool bean. Cool... Bean. Just the one, though. I don't have money for another one. <laughs> I can't tell if he's senile or if he's just pretending to be. Pedal burger? Mmm, pedal burger. <laughs> yeah, the partners have back sprites now. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, she's just, she's very judgmental. <laughs> oh wait, wait, wait! Hold up, hold the fort, hold the phone. The mega rush P. All right. Well, what you gotta say? Hey, I gotta say, I'm really loving my Nintendo GameCube. Best system ever, am I right? Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, I saved up for a new game, the sequel to Paper Mario. I just got started, but it's a blast so far. A blast! Oh no, we're getting meta. Soon the universe will fall apart. Find any treasure? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. They say the Koopas who perished there curse the place with their regret. So anyone who claims the treasure will lose all his strength. Yeah, nasty, huh? So what do you think? You scared now or what? Ha, huh? I'm just messing with you. Oh, okay. This is not very, not very nice. What do you gotta say, flower man? Ah, another lovely day. The glorious sun shines down. My heart sings. You know, I bet there's a whole world we know nothing about past Hooktail Castle. But wait, don't tell me. I want to see it for myself. You know, explore like you. Okay. Well, if you want to explore, exploring's this way. I wonder what it's like playing the remake with a GameCube controller. 
I mean, there's a few things you wouldn't be able to do because you got four shoulder buttons. GameCube only has three for some reason. You know, Mario, I just realized we found a crystal star, but not Princess Peach. Where do you think she went? I hope she's all right. And his, his ringtone is Super Mario World. Hey, you okay? You're totally shaking. Do you need a bathroom? Oh, there we go. There it is. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I'm being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find the objects they call the Crystal Stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it's not anything, anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Wow, wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? THE Princess? So that means she's okay. For the moment, anyway. But that's better than not knowing, right? And now we know another thing. Whoever kidnapped her is also after the Crystal Stars. We should get back to Rogueport and start searching for the next Crystal Star. Pronto! Pronto. Isn't that the name of, like, Zoro's horse? <laughs> I wonder who on the dev team pulled out their old GBASP for that foley. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, spokey. Gotta go back in the stone pipe. Rogue port sub level one. Okay, excuse me. Okay, now we can go in here. Uh, get, go in there. Wait, that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That. Ching in the music. Isn't that from Mario Paint? No, I don't think so, but it sounds very similar. Hello, welcome. I'm Merly. Underground, cute as can be. A charming charmer, that is me. Luckily for you, coming here, I grant good fortune, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come, more as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Are you ready for a taste of power? Yes. That's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate. Which do you choose? Mm, I'll take normal for now. Okay, that's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. Put me in a box! Spin me around, make me real dizzy. She got like a incense machine in the background. My mystic power can make you smile. In ba battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. I, I love the segments where you go in the background. When I was a kid, I always thought that was the, the coolest thing ever. Okay, well, we need to go to the door. I've got to get to the door! Oh wait, so now that I have the, the the thing, you can do that. You know, wedge yourself between there so you don't have to take the platform no more. And then you can also do this. We... Now hang on, hang on. What's in here? We got new places that we can explore. Oh, it is a lovely room of death. 
Yeah, I can't, I, I can't, I can't do anything with that right now. A lot of people complain about the backtracking and TTYD, but the design of the sewers is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I never really minded it when I played it before. I never thought it was a big deal. And yeah, I mean, if you're backtracking and there's like actual stuff to do, then I mean, uh, you know, it's fine for me. It is fine for me. Okay, can I get in the door? Can I- oh wait, I pressed the wrong- oh! <laughs> I pushed the jump button instead of the plane button. I don't know how that happened. Okay, but you can do that, I guess. I've never been much of a backtracking hater anyway. I mean, I'm a Metroid fan, you know, I gotta have at least some tolerance for backtracking. No! Nope, nope. I probably need to level up Foop next time. Oh, look at him go! Break it- break it down, Coops. Break it down. I think backtracking depends on how tedious it is. Metroid backtracking and Phantom Hourglass backtracking are worlds apart. Yeah, that's also very true. Honestly, it's a shame. I- I kind of, like... I kind of hate that it's so annoying in Phantom Hourglass because, like, I see the vision. I think, you know, a dungeon that you are constantly going back to is a cool idea, but Phantom Hourglass didn't really make it work that well. I guess Spirit Tracks does it better. But you don't really revisit the old areas so much as new areas are unlocked. Um, alright Mario, hold up that crystal star. The runes? They don't appear very Delta, but, you know, they'll do. Oh, that's a cool noise. Yeah, I mean, the, su the sewers in the original Paper Mario were also cool like that, too. So they kind of... I feel like they kind of realized how cool that was, so they were like, you know what? We're gonna make that, like, a big part of the sequel. And yup, the Boggly Woods. Hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next Crystal Star has showed up on the map. But, I'm sorry, but I don't have a clue where that is. <laughs> um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. How do you know who that is? We didn't tell you! Mmm! Mmm -hmm. I see, I see! Crystal clear! Um, so can you tell us where the next Crystal Star is, or not? It's in the Boggly Woods! The second Crystal Star is inside a great tree there! A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? Psychomantis! About those woods, I think some odd creatures live in there. I put the emphasis at the wrong part of the sentence, but it's okay. I also like that both games have entirely different types of sewers. 64s are all grungy and slimy, and TTYDs are like underground ruins with aqueducts. I mean, yeah, makes sense with the lure. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know, it's about Princess Peach. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. 
Yeah. Uh oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Um, I guess all we can do is head to the Bogley Woods to find that next crystal star. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it before the princess's captors. Whatever their ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and inn first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. So I don't think I'm going to start the next chapter, but I'm also going to... Oh, hey, bro. Uh, I'm also going to walk around a little bit and explore and, like, check some stuff out before I stop streaming. Hey, it's that guy again. Have you been powering up your party members? If you don't, they're going to have a rough time as you keep adventuring. If you haven't been powering them up, you better go over there to Merlin's place. Well, well hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What the coinky dink? Eh, what am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to save Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, all right. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met some with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty intense, bro. Wanna hear what happens? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet member in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay beg of your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request that your I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed it to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, and then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe, who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the mar marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all of the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. It is pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rogueport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I got to rescue that princess. Wanna hear about something else? Uh, n no thank you. Okay. But yeah, I'm one of the people who thinks they shouldn't make the Marvelous Compass game because it's funnier if you never see it. But also, I would accept a different Paper Luigi game. If they want to make Paper Luigi something else, then I'm cool with that. Welcome to the home of Merlin. I can power up your partners for three Shine Sprites. So, which partner would you like me to power up? I'm gonna go with Goombella the first time. Yes. <laughs> Make it a sequel to his adventure in TTYD, would that be a fair compromise? Actually, yeah, that would be really funny, because you could keep, like... <laughs> you could keep, like, referencing things that happened <laughs> in, in that adventure that the player has no context for. Shazubi! Oh, 
No, I cannot. I have no sprites. I have no sprites. Who's this guy? Come on, you really need to ask me that? Give me a break. That's your brother Luigi. But I wonder why he's here. I'm sure he'll tell you if you ask him. Yeah, we already we already been through that. Hey, you don't Yeah, yeah, we already read that one. Sometimes the dialogue changes, sometimes it doesn't. A paper just flew by the screen. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? You gotta replenish both HP and FP. Ends are better than recovery blocks. Ends will feel all your star power, too. That's why. Recovery blocks won't, genius. Oh, also, I want to point out that there is, uh, in the remake, there are noose physics. You can interact with it. <laughs> hey, Pally. Hey, 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 oh! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. So we got Jam and Jelly. Jump Man. You uh, Jumps are more powerful, but you lose the hammer. Timing Tutor. Was that in the original game? Is that how you originally learned that? And then Earthquake. Okay, I think... I, I don't think I want to do that right now. Wait, actually, let me, let me... Let me, let me double ch jump, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, I think I'll pass for right now. Oh, that's new dialogue. I didn't even realize. Oi, I used to sail around and run around wild in me younger days, but now I'm a reformed sailor now. I was blown up north, south, east, west back then. Just blew about the, blew up the whole flipping map. Oh, this guy likes Miss Mouse. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Bodley's place, humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we already we already read that one. God, this room, this room right here in particular is really gorgeous looking. Like just the dim lighting, the shiny floors, the paper staircase, really good stuff, really good stuff. Oh, oh, Master Mario! What could her highness be doing? The mind reels. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. Okay, what badge they got? Did they got some bag? Powerfully stomping at me. Yeah, it tells me how many I have. Uh, super, super appeal. Well, that is super appealing to me. Was was in the box. <laughs> I love the unsimplifier. Okay, now we're gonna check out over here and in the sewers a little bit, and then that's probably where I'll stop. You know, like have it set up nice in a row for chapter two. Just have everything ready to go. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Hey, yeah, uh, I am Ian Fumas. The infamous Info Mouse. I know things. Things worth knowing. If someone's trouble is giving you trouble, I'll share my info, but it'll cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. 
you haven't taken on anyone's trouble, so my info won't be of much use to you now. Come talk to me after you've accepted someone's trouble from the board over there. Hey, is this your first time to the Trouble Center? Then I'll explain how our service works. Listen up good. Did I ever mention there's a credits theme in one Rugrats episode that sounds a lot like the Rogue Port theme? You did not! <laughs> this Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of trouble people have, check the bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out and they'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Need a key, Garf. They call me Garf, and I've lost my key and thus cannot get into my house. It should be somewhere in Rogueport. I just need someone to find it. I'll be waiting for you at the house at the very back end of East Rogueport. Yeah, we'll take on Garf's trouble. Yeah, and they... You can't take more than one. I did see that. And I, that's, that's a little lame, but what you gonna do? <laughs> but I can go through here. Wedge myself between house. If you come all the way here, you must have seen some serious, dangerous action. That's good. Danger's good. Believe me, I know. It's Pierre. Busting his tail to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishnail. The lore. Oh, okay. I didn't- I didn't see that, but good. What do you want, chump? If you ain't got business here, then beat it. Where do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating? Yeah, guys like you act real cool, but when you win, when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah! I could beat you again. That's Ishne, a leader of the thief band called the Rabos. He really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who knew? Okay, there's nothing back here going on, really. There's a star piece behind that chimney, but I can't get it. Okay, back to the sewer. There's a couple more things to check out down there. And then we have that guy leading us straight to it. You know, just in case. Just in case you needed to know. Like, did he originally do that? Oh, yeah, this is a Star Peach guy. That, that really sounds like the Mario Paint sound effect. Make it likelier that items are up here. More hearts. Peekaboo. Quick change. Oh, uh, you know, I think I'm gonna wait and get this. No, nah, you had to remember the room you originally saw him. Yeah, they, they there might be a couple places where they overcompensated for the backtracking a little bit. Because, <laughs> like, God forbid you have to walk around. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, there's only so many places in the sewer you can actually go. What was in here again? I already forgot. Oh, that was the danger room of danger. What was in here? Was there something in here? Maybe later. <laughs> Mario, did you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly described. 
Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll check in on him in just a minute. But first, there's something over here. Back in the Thousand Year Door room. The Peepus room. I almost did it again. I don't know why, but I keep thinking like, oh yeah, A's the button you press to do that. Ooh. New music. So the song gets fuller the more the stars you get. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, airplane over here. Oh, there's a shine sprite up there. I would like to have it. I would like to possess it. And yep, this is what I thought that this would be. Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of 100 trials. First attack and bump attack badges don't work, so beware. Do the pit now, I dare you. I mean, honestly, like I could try to see like how far I get <laughs> like at chapter two levels, but frankly, I just, I just don't think I have the time tonight. I don't have the time to do that kind of wacky challenge. A tit of 100 piles. Nope. Anyway, wedge on in here. Uh, you didn't come to eat me? And you're not bullies? Kiss again, nerd! Of course not. For real? Phew, boy, that's good. I thought for a second I might have an accident. You're one of the creatures from Bogley Woods, right? What are you doing here? W what Why do you know about me? No, you must be... You guys are working for those x knots aren't you? You chased me here. No, it's the end. x knots Easy there, kid. What in the world are you freaking out about? We're not going to do anything to you, so chill for a sec. Just tell us what's going on. Well, okay. This gang of bad guys who call themselves the x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree. And started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So I've come all the way down here looking for help. Mario, that... Uh. Mario, that sounds like those guys who attacked us in Rogueport, right? If they're the same guys, then we're definitely after, they're definitely after the Crystal Star. Hmm. Now that you mention it, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. But we punies don't know anything about crystals or stars. Hey, could you guys help out? Maybe chase them off? If you do, we'll give you a... What was it? The Crystal Star? If you do, you can- we'll have the puny elder give you that. I don't know what it is, but if it'll help us reclaim our tree, I'm sure the elder will agree. So what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? I guess. I mean, we just can't ignore them, right? And we do need to find the Crystal Star before those X-whatever guys do. Oh, thank you so much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Pleased to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? It's this way. Wait, hang on a second. I'm sure the puny elder said some button around here opened the secret entrance. 
Aha! Can I go left? Yes! And that's how you get this. Damage dodge. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And super appeal, why not? You can get to the woods we punies live in by going through that pipe over there. Okay, hurry, hurry. Chapter 2, The Great Boggly Tree. And this chapter is so freaking gorgeous. These are the boggly woods. They sure look boggling. Oh, I've got butterflies. Um, okay, just a bit farther and we should be able to see the great tree. The elder and her friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister too. Come on, let's go. Okay, as soon as I find a save block. <laughs> Time to go to work, lovelies. Vivian, you understand what we've got to do, yes? Mm hmm. A, find that Mario guy, and B, steal the map to the Crystal Stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can't we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm? What's this now? Vivian, what's that you're fawning over there? Oh, what, you mean this? I found it near the tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely, I had to pick it up. Hmm. Vivian, for shame. Picking off someone else's scraps. Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat. Bring out the sketch of Mario guy- that Mario guy you got from Grotus. <laughs> Eep! Wh what I, I- I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You were in charge of it. You wretched little worm. Blaming me for something you probably screwed up. But I- Go, go! Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustachioed fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great oaf! Save your games for later! Now, now, where was I? You, Vivian! Don't tell me you lost our precious sketch! But listen, I- look, it's not my fault, I never had this sketch! Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that the only rationale you understand is force. For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, yeah, so sorry. But, but, Beldum. Oh, you're horrid. Oh, what am I to do? What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us scram right now. I have no business with you. All right, so I think that'll be it for right now. But I'm looking forward to doing chapter two next time. It's a good quality chapter. I feel like after after chapter one, it get, definitely gets more interesting, I feel like. And I, that's not to say chapter one is uninteresting, but it's it's a little standard. Things get things get weirder after chapter one. In a good in a good way.
But yeah, I think I think that will be it for now. So have a good night, everybody.